and I'm here today to share a project with you for I Am Roses. This is a 12 by 12 layout that I created using a picture of my grandmother when she lived in um, Japan. My dad um, recently found all of these old photos and has transferred them to um, the computer so I was able to um, find these great these great pictures that I've never even seen before. So I decided to create a layout using um, this photograph and I loved the way that it looked very nostalgic and I knew that I'd be able to find something in my Graphic 45 collection that would match um, this picture perfectly. So I used several different collections. I used the Fashionista collection by Graphic 45, the Domestic Goddess collection by Graphic 45, and the Times Nouveau collection by Graphic 45. And I love how Graphic 45 collections, um, they cross over so well, so um, if you have a little bit of one collection left over, you can just use it up with another collection because they all match so well. So I used a conglomeration of three different um, lines on this one layout. Um, and it is on a 12 by 12 piece of chipboard and then I just um, layered the embellishments on to the chipboard itself. So um, the first thing, I, thing that I did was this was a border that came actually on one of the domestic goddess, goddess papers. Um, it was a border and I just cut it out using my paper trimmer and then glued that on top of this cherry paper. And then um, I distressed all of the papers in the center using my um, Tim Holtz edge distressor and my Vintage Photo Distress ink. And then I used some of these um, Color Ready Craft Borders by Close to My Heart. I like the way that um, they kind of match the vintage look, so I chose to leave those as craft. And then I used some um, really pretty lace. This vintage white lace is from Carla S001, and this is some small red organza um, floral trim by Maya Road. And then this was just some green trim that I had in my stash that I used to tie into a tie in a bow. And then this domestic goddess, um, actually I just fussy cut out of the paper collection and then distressed it using my Tim Holtz as distressor and my vintage photo distress ink and then I popped it up on dimensionals. And then over here I have a bunch of different I Am Roses products and I'll have links to all of the I Am Roses products that I used listed on my blog and my blog will be in the description box below. Um, so the first thing that I did was I fussy cut out quite a few things from the different collections um, and this was a tag that actually came with, I believe that was the Times Nouveau collection. And I just distressed them all again with my Tim Holtz Edge Distressor and my Vintage Photo Distress ink. And I popped up several of them, um, popped several of them up with my with dimensionals to um, layer them on. And um, in the background here are some pearl sprays from Carla S001. I really liked the way that those um, match the lace and the R40 roses that I used. So let me share with you the different flowers that I used. Um, this is an R40. It's the two-tone red rose, the red and white two-tone rose. And then these are R40 um, roses as well. They started out white, but you can see now they're kind of a vintage beige. And I um, achieved that look by spraying them with my Clam Bake Beige by Lindy Stamp Gang. And this is a new color that um, Lindy Stamp Gang has recently come out with. And it's really, really pretty um, for vintage type projects. Um, it's, I didn't like the stark white with this layout, so I really liked the way the clam bake beige gave that um, vintage, vintage color to those flowers. So those were R40, and then I have um, peeking out some brown black cherry blossoms, and then these are R5. All of the white ones, um, the white smaller ones, are R5 flowers, and those have also been sprayed with the clam bake beige. And then I have um, several of the mini red roses from I Am Roses. And then um, I just used some of the, they, I believe they're the um, brown black semi-open rosebuds. Yes, that's what those are. And then I just put several um, of the small green rose leaves to finish that out. So that's my project for today. And again, I will have links to all of the I Am Roses products that I used listed on my blog. And my blog will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye.